In the figure is the area of triangular region ABC equal to the area of triangular region DBA. So statement number one tells us that AC squared equals 2AD squared. We'll take a square root of this and we know everything is positive. So AC equals radical 2 times AD. So I'm just going to say, let's just call this, this number x. This is AC. And so then AC divided by 2 is AD. So that means that this length here is A divided by root 2. So AD is smaller than AC. Well, the trouble is we don't know anything about BC. We don't know anything about AB. We know that AB would be longer than BC, but we don't know how much longer. And so we have no way to compare the two triangles as it is. So by itself right now, statement number one is insufficient. Now we have to leave that aside. Statement number two tells us that ABC is isosceles. So that means that this is X, this is X, and of course the, square, the hypotenuse of this would be X times the square root of two. But we now have no information about AC, so we have no way to calculate the area of the larger triangle. And so we still have insufficient information. But now we'll combine the statements. Now we know what we have here is x, x. This one here is x times the square root of 2, the hypotenuse AB. And we know that AD from statement number 1 is x divided by the square root of 2. Well, now it's interesting. The area of ABC would be 1 half base times height. That is 1 half x squared. The area of DBA would also be 1 half base times height. So that would be 1 half x divided by root 2 times x times root 2. And, of course, the root 2s cancel, and you still get x squared over 1 half. So it turns out that they both have the same area. So when we combine the statements, we can give a definitive yes answer to the question. We now have sufficient information, and the answer to the question is C.